Use this magical formula to pay off any debt you have. Let me tell you something. All the good things in life, whether it's spiritual, material, or mental wealth, are gifts from God. But what happens when you're in a tough spot? Debts are piling up, you're feeling like there's no way out, and it's just bill after bill with no end in sight. Sound familiar? If you're nodding along, I've got something for you. Back in 1948, a pharmacist from Los Angeles did something incredible. He had a debt of $5,000 and was at his wit's end trying to figure out how to pay it. But then he used a technique from Dr. Joseph Murphy, who was known for teaching people how to tap into their subconscious mind to find abundance and claim the wealth that's rightfully theirs. And guess what? It worked. He shared his story in a local newspaper, and it became a sensation. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the same technique that helped him out of his mess. Dr. Joseph Murphy called it the magical formula for paying debts. It's simple, but it can be powerful. Let's take a look at the pharmacist's journey. He started off with a promising career after graduating from school. His father-in-law believed in him and lent him $2,000 to start his first pharmacy. But things didn't go as planned. Months went by, and he was struggling to make ends meet. The debt was hanging over him like a dark cloud, and he felt trapped, not seeing a way out. And on top of everything, his father-in-law, noticing that his business was failing, meaning he wasn't making any sales, told him he needed the $1,000 back within 30 days. But the good thing was that this pharmacist knew about the power of the subconscious mind, so he reached out to Joseph Murphy. If you haven't heard of him, Murphy was this guy who figured out a technique to tap into the subconscious and use it to solve problems, even big ones like debt. Murphy shared his magical formula for paying off debts with the pharmacist, and it changed everything. The idea is simple. Every time you start worrying about your debt, which, let's face it, happens a lot, you need to flip the script in your mind. Instead of stressing over how much you owe, imagine someone handing you the exact amount of money you need. Picture it, someone just giving you the cash. Murphy told the pharmacist to do this every night before going to bed, imagining that someone was handing him $1,000 the exact amount he owed. The pharmacist decided to give it a shot. Every night, he'd close his eyes and picture someone handing him a wad of cash, enough to clear his debt. He'd fall asleep feeling calmer, more relaxed, and way less stressed. Within a week, things started turning around. Customers suddenly began showing up at his pharmacy. He felt positive. He felt at ease, and that energy rubbed off on everyone around him. It's not magic, but there's real power in focusing on positive outcomes. The pharmacist's change in attitude led to better interactions with his customers, more sales, and eventually he was able to pay off his debt. Suddenly he was that friendly, generous, and all-around amazing pharmacist everyone wanted to see. Patients began recommending him to their friends and his pharmacy got busier by the day. In just 27 days, he paid back his father-in-law the $1,000. It was because of word of mouth. People loved his attitude and his positivity. Four months later, he opened his second pharmacy, and by eight months, he had opened his third. By the time he gave that interview to the newspaper, he owned 10 pharmacies. Talk about a turnaround. Now, let's talk about how you can use this same method. Joseph Murphy explains it in his book, The Infinite Power to Be Rich. Here's the deal. Every time you get a bill, whether it's for your car, rent, electricity, or anything else, I want you to imagine that instead of a bill, you're receiving that exact amount of money. It's a simple mindset shift, and there's no harm in trying it. The next time you get a bill, don't go into panic mode, thinking, I can't afford this. Instead, visualize that you're being given zero if that's what you owe for your car. Think, wow, 
I just got zero. Then, if you get another bill for, say, zero, picture yourself receiving that money too. Why does this work? You're putting positive energy into your subconscious mind, aligning yourself with the frequency and vibration of money. By focusing on abundance instead of scarcity, you start attracting more of what you need. It's like the saying goes, where your attention goes, energy flows. This approach helps you shift your mindset, opening doors to abundance. Here's what you need to do. Start by putting the idea of wealth and abundance in your conscious mind. You might be asking, who's going to give me the money? How will it come to me if I don't have a job or if I don't go to college? Don't get caught up in those details. Instead, focus on what you're feeding into your subconscious. Think about it. What kind of seeds are you planting in your mind? If you can embrace the idea of abundance and really believe that you're ready to receive it, you'll be amazed at how many opportunities start appearing. When you have faith that things will work out, the person you'd least expect might offer a helping hand, or the client you've been waiting for might find you instead of the other way around. It's all about being in alignment. We're all energy, and the energy you put out is what speaks for you, even when you don't say a word. So here's the deal. You can do this every single day. Whenever you get a bill, no matter how big or small, imagine that someone just handed you the money you need. Feel that gratitude that, wow, thank you for this, and really let it sink in. Once you do, you'll notice that you start attracting more good things into your life. Why does this work? Because you're getting on the same frequency as wealth and abundance. I guarantee that if you try this method, you'll start to see abundance flowing into your life. You'll find solutions, and you'll notice that your bills are getting paid. How will this happen? Where will the money come from? Those are not things we need to focus on. Our task is to plant seeds of positivity in our minds, to absorb all the information that enriches us, grants us wisdom, and awakens that infinite intelligence. How do we do this? By feeding the right information into our subconscious. This story shows that it doesn't matter how much debt you have. My grandfather, who raised me, always used to say, there's always a way out, and that's the truth. Let me share an affirmation from Joseph Murphy's book, The Infinite Power Within You. I encourage you to use this affirmation several times a day. Write it down, make it your foam wallpaper, jot it down in a comment, or send it to someone in a message. When we write, read, or see, we are directing our energy. The affirmation goes, I am grateful for the opportunity to enjoy all the riches of God. If you can visualize it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. You are the creator of your reality. Become aware of your thoughts. What are you thinking about? What kind of ideas are you putting into your mind? Make sure they are positive and clean and believe that all possibilities will come to you. I have faith that your financial situation will get better, that you'll start to resonate with a new frequency. Use this magical formula and see results because you're changing your mental programming. You'll start shedding those ideas of poverty and breaking free from all that conditioning, and many people will step up to support you. You'll find your way up and enjoy the wealth that God has planned for us. I'm sending you a big hug, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.